Hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. And today, I have an unboxing of the Yeezy 700 V3 Salt Fade or Fade Salt, whichever way you prefer to call it. I'm not actually sure which way around it is. But yeah, I'll open them up with you. We'll look at them at the same time, so I haven't actually looked at them yet. Okay, packaging. Okay. These are quite nice to be fair. On the pictures, I actually really like these, so I was hoping they have quite an impression of this shoe. But it is actually really nice. If you look at it, I'll just show it to the camera first. It's like a grey material, well, grey colour on top. And almost like a black, white and a grey on the inside and the outside. It almost reminds me of like a zebra. 700 v3 almost like black and white stripes on the inside and the outside almost reminds me of like a zebra yeah but i don't know where they could get the salt fade name from but not as a with a normal 700 v3 like the skeleton structures uh glows in the dark so yeah it's normally like a greeny color you can kind of see it from like this side it is a bit greeny already but yeah, it's a greeny colour. With the 700 V3s and this pair, we do actually have the Infinity Laces, which are like a, also a grey colour. Matches the tongue. And likewise, like I said on my other video, with the, the new MMVN, this is what I was meaning with like the socky inside. It's got like the 700 V3. The new MNVN is very similar. It's almost like the same material. It's just, it literally is the same as that, just without the laces, really. The V3 is also a, another futuristic shoe, so kind of like the MNVN. So I wouldn't be surprised if Kanye did a no lace one. I was quickly getting the second shoe out to show you guys. It's just exactly the same. Quality on this pair is actually really good. No glue stains that I can see either. So pretty happy with these pair of shoes. Really nice. An orange on the bottom, the thing with V3s, 700 V3s if you've never had them before as well, is there's no boost in these, so these are probably the most, say, uncomfortable 700. Like they fit nice and everything, but it is a bit uncomfortable. Also, I tend to go half a size up on these, so your normal 350 size, so yeah, I normally go half a size up, so i got a 9.5 UK in this, this time, which is my normal 350 size. But these are a really nice pair and I actually, I was going to say something quite controversial and I actually do prefer these to the Azales and so I've got the Azales down here which I'm going to actually compare because I don't think that I actually prefer these, I can't lie. I feel like these do kind of look a bit more, just obviously plain because it's all like one colour mainly but I feel like these are actually easier to wear because with these it's just like a full white shoe and it's quite hard to wear whereas these because it's like a quite neutral grey blacky white colour I feel like you could wear it with more things so personal op opinion so drop it in the comments which you think is easier to wear and which you prefer really but yeah so I'm going to throw these on feet now and see what they look like on feet <laughs> After just trying them on, there isn't really anything too different fit wise from any of the other 700 V3s. So, if you've bought a pair, defo just go for your same size and everything. 0.5 up is just standard, really. Or if you have a wider foot, maybe even go a full size up because, likewise, with the new MNVNs, it's hard to get your foot in this hole because of the just the way it's made, really. It's quite a tight little gap, but yeah. It's definitely a clean shoe, a nice pair. I actually prefer it to the OGs. Another thing I'll say with the 700 V3s, I do think if these came out before like the OG 700s, I reckon these wouldn't actually like brick as much because people don't seem to resell and these never seem to be that high compared to 700 V1s or V2s because I actually do find these a really nice shoe and I feel like 
people should give them a chance like the MMVNs more because they are really nice. Although they have no boost, I feel like they are still comfy. Obviously, they're not as comfy as normal 700s, but they're still a comfy shoe and it's definitely worth trying. And if you haven't had a 700 V3 before, this is a really nice colorway and I'll definitely say it's worth picking up. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.